Dogs even receive awards for bravery. They have been hailed as heroes for showing loyalty to their human companions. Taffy saved his young master from drowning in a frozen lake by racing off and bringing people to the rescue. An early canine celebrity over a century ago was Greyfriars Bobby, this devoted terrier sat by his master's grave every day for 15 years. After their courage in the trenches, the Second World War saw parachuting dogs drop behind enemy lines to accompany raiding parties and join spy missions. Leka from Russia was the most famous canine traveler of all. In 1957, this dog was the first living creature to go up into space. And which is the brightest star in the sky? Sirius, the dog star. In ancient Egypt, it rose over the horizon during the annual flood of the river Nile. This made the land fertile again, so the Egyptians worshipped this star for its life-giving properties. Another of their gods, Anubis, had the body of a man and the head of a jackal. His role was to prepare the dead for their entry into the underworld. Guide and guardian, recurring roles for the dogs of myth and legend. In ancient Greece, the three-headed hound Cerberus guarded the gates of hell, keeping the living out, and more importantly, the dead in. The dog's superior instincts and senses have always been respected, but sometimes they're viewed with suspicion and even fear. This has led in more recent mythology to the dark and terrifying fusion of man and dog, the werewolf. Fiction, but perhaps with a thread of truth. Born of a time when wolves did run through our forests, such fantastic stories alerted us to real dangers. But wolves were only threatening as our enemies. Once they had been trained to work with us rather than against us, their aggression could be harnessed and put to use. The Romans trained dogs as living burglar alarms and intruders were warned off by entrance mosaics, the earliest known sign saying, beware of the dog. Since then, all sorts of dogs have been bred with an aggressive streak. In Italy's Abruzzi Mountains, sheep are protected by a very special dog. It's bred to protect the flock, but also to look like a sheep, the Marama Sheepdog. Instinct tells any dog to defend its pack, and in this case, the pack is the flock itself. Because this dog was raised as a lamb. A wolf in sheep's clothing? Just like those wolves of thousands of years ago which learned to live with humans, these pups turned to sheep as a surrogate pack. And as with all creatures, the key lessons of life begin in infancy. Puppies learn through play how to interact with their siblings, and a jackal pup finds out that attention has to be fought for. And it learns to keep its place. A wild street pup in Bali has to struggle to eat and live, scavenging scraps, and it quickly learns to fight for its food. <coughs> the 
though not to the point of risking the very survival it's fighting for. In a dog-eat-dog -dog world, survival is everything, and that means learning lessons like submission, acceptance, and going hungry. A dog eats as fast and as much as it can. It instinctively knows to wolf its food. These feeding habits derive from wild dogs, which must eat fast should a bigger rival appear, like a hyena. <laughs> Eating food is also the best way to store it and then transport it back to the den. where hungry puppies are waiting. They beg for food by licking the adult's mouth to trigger a regurgitated meal. So next time a dog licks your face, you'll know it's looking for more than a kiss. In the Arctic, storing food is no problem. It's an open-air deep freeze, but the Arctic fox must eat as much as it can to stay alive in these harsh conditions. Under their fur, all dogs' bodies are warm and dry, since they have sweat glands only in their feet. In Mexico, hairless dogs were bred and used as hot water bottles. People may find strange uses for them, but many pet dogs are chosen for one reason, style. And today's pet dogs are designed to look very different from those of yesteryear. A champion poodle must be immaculate with a flamboyantly cropped coat. But poodles were originally bred to hunt ducks and geese in muddy swamps. Maybe not so prim and proper, but more than able to do a job that this poodle couldn't cope with. Much easier to live in the lap of luxury as a coddled companion and make people happy too. Perhaps that's why there are at least six million pet dogs in Britain and over 50 million in the United States.